What's going on guys, Trip here today, and um, it's going to be kickstarting this series with After Effects for like uh, tutorials and After Effects that I want to show you guys. And I do want to, uh, before I start, I do want to say thank you for the subscribers and the views and stuff like that um, on my on my past couple edits. Um, I've been editing like crazy, uh, but I have, or I haven't been uploading a lot lately also because I have been, um, you know, working a lot and doing a lot of stuff. And, uh, but the good thing about that is I have a lot of stuff to show you guys and uh, some pretty cool uploads. So, um, I'm going to be kicking out or kickstarting this, um, this After Effects tutorial series with a transition series, um, because transitions, in my opinion, make an edit, um, or it, it, it's basically a deal breaker for me because I, I don't like just straight cutaway edits, like where, um, where there's like a, like a cut to just a, to, to the next scene or something like that, because it makes it look half ass um, unless it's like a montage that's like four or five minutes long or longer. Um, I don't like edits to be, um, just to have like a straight cut anywhere, um, because it, yeah, like I said, it just looks, it just looks half ass and it doesn't look as great. Um, you could even just put like a simple fade away, um, if you can't think of anything to do, but you know, there's, there's a lot of simple transitions you can do. And it's really not that hard to do, so I'm gonna kick, I'm kickstarting this series with us uh, with some transitions. And I'm showing you guys some cool, um, uh, more advanced and more basic transitions. I'm gonna starting off with a basic one, and this is gonna be a more like a warpy turbulent displays type of um, transition. So what's uh, I'm gonna show you guys what this will look like. It's gonna look like um, either a little like warpy type of water type thing, and um, and the next clip fades in, so you guys can see it there like a like a little water. Thing that kind of fades in um so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna delete this adjustment layer and delete these keyframes <laughs> and you want to have your um your clips overlapping a little bit and oh whoops i have my opacity to zero sorry all right so um I'm, what you want to do is have your clips overlapping by you know however long you want um however long you have your uh your two clips overlapping is how long your transition the transition should be um, so what you want to do is you want to go uh, up to layer, new, and adjustment layer. Uh, whoops. <laughs> go to layer, new, adjustment layer. All right. And what I like to do is I like to trim up my adjustment layer. So I want my um, my transition to start about here. So I'm going to alt begin bracket to cut the, the or to trim that. And when I go forward to about here, I'm going to alt and bracket to trim it there and what I want to do now is I'm going to, get, is I'm going to drag on turbulent displace um, it is a built-in preset in After Effects CS6 <clears throat> uh, so what you want to do is go and you want to go to the beginning of the adjustment layer and turn the amount of turbulent displace down to zero whoops just type in zero and you want to keyframe the amount and the evolution and what you want to do is you want to go to the middle of the adjustment layer kind of right about here and um, you want to uh, go uh, type in 50. Actually, no, uh, type in 100. And uh, go to the evolution and uh, where it says one or zero x, uh, type in one. So it, it just basically goes one evolution. And go to the end of the adjustment layer and keyframe the amount back down to zero and the evolution back down to zero also. So it's kind of like a fade in and fade out type thing. And now now you kind of have like, um, you have the warpy effect, but the, the, you guys can see that it still has like that little cutaway. So what you want to do is uh, go on your uh, second clip, click T for opacity, and go to wherever you want it to begin, um, or where you want it to be 100% that. Um, click the stopwatch to make a keyframe, go back, and turn the opacity down to zero so basically that makes it a little like um like a fade in so it looks more smooth so i'm gonna go ahead and ram preview that and it should look UAV basically UAV exactly UAV the same as it did before UAV so you guys can see right there um again it has that little like warpy type of um feel to it so yeah that's it that's um the first transition um I look be, have a look out um for the next transitions they're up and coming. I have a, um, a lot of advanced ones coming up. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.